Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign, playing as the Enclave. And before we get too far into it, completely random, no buffs, everything's default. Let us begin. Mods, I'm using Old World Blues, Old World Blues Enclave Reborn, Color Button, Color Events, Player of Peace Conferences, and State Transfer Tool. That's out of the way now. I know I talk very, very fast, but let us begin with our escape. Years ago, we managed to escape from the destruction of the main Enclave forces at Navarro. The manner in which we survive can be still felt today. So, hope you're all having a great day, and today is the day we, as the Enclave purists, begin to restore the United States of America. For too long have the impure been running things and making a mess of what was once the greatest country in the world. But we're going to rectify that. We will change this for better. Yeah, let's see. General Grimm. Kind of hanging out. Cool. Our escape. Now the same thing is the focus as earlier. I can't word right now. I can't speak. Whatever. Now we can get some, lose some manpower. Get some veteran divisions. We could escape using vertebrates, which is very nice. Or deserted before the fighting got bad. Now I don't like choosing this one. This seems really un enclave like. But I'm going to need that manpower. I need that manpower for later. But we have a choice. Sergeant Dornan is well respected by both the Reformer and Pierce factions within the Enclave. The Enclave needs a president, however. And Sarge expressed a disinterest in being called a serve for the rest of his career. He works for a living, damn it. So Enclave holds elections, and we remove complete chaos. Which is right there, so there it is. For now, we love doing this, separating our units by type in the Lair of the Beast or in the lair of the bear. We are on the very borders of the NCR, a rogue nation occupying American soil. We cannot deny that they would destroy us if they became fully aware of our existence. Luckily for us, though, the bear is blind. Weakened by bureaucracy and infighting in an ineffectual leader, with the right efforts made, we can hide under the very nose of the NCR until we are strong enough to reveal our plans, but we cannot keep them in the shadows forever. It will become harder and harder to conceal ourselves as time goes on. Our time will come soon, and I'm not going to touch you until we are good and ready to. Look at that, four, arm, four divisions of power armor. So, Sergeant Dorn is well respected by both the Reformer and Purist factions of the Enclave. Uh, nonetheless, neither see him as a viable president and have elect elected or presented their own candidates. The Purists have selected Franklin Anderson as a candidate, while the Reformers, led by Douglas Granite, it appears that the Purist faction has advantage, but the support of the Sarge could still tip the scales in favor of the Reformers. Now, this guy, he's a traitor, a Reformer. That's not the way we roll here. Sergeant Dornan supports Franklin Anderson. That is the way we roll. Now we're going to have to train some auxiliaries as well as rapid response divisions. That's just the way it's going to have to be because we don't have the industry or manpower for it just yet. Next up, our president. We've made our choice and that choice will change the future of the Enclave if we're and if we're successful, America. But who really is a man we selected in which we get a little bit of lore about the man's past? Let's go disable backstory decisions. And we will eventually do reduce administrative shifts. Now, I'm not clicking on this one yet, because the sooner we do, the more, the sooner we're going to have to spend political power, and I don't like spending my pee-pee. Anderson's past. Franklin, Franklin, Dr. Franklin, is a former member of the Enclave's Chemical Corps. The good doctor has recently escaped from 30 years of imprisonment and servitude as first a non-person prisoner in Shady Sand's Darkest Hole, then a slave to a tribe, then a slave to New Reno. Since his return to freedom, he has championed the ideas or ideals of the Enclave of Old, Purity, Supremacy, and the Reestablishment of America. Formerly involved in several secret projects during the presidency of Dick Richardson, notably the FEV experiments of Mariposa, and the creation of Frank Horrigan, he seeks to finish what he and his colleagues started four decades ago, the eradication of the mutant menace that dares to tread upon American soil. When he was a young scientist, he distinguished himself as he stared down a rampaging Frank Horrigan until he could be subdued. We get Unbreakable Will, which looks really good. Sought out test subjects for the Chemical Corps on the mainland, which looks pretty good. I like that he, he's respected by soldiers. Or, pioneered a new composition of the common Stimpak to be a self-testing. I like that one as well. Do we get more research speed? More stability? Or respected by soldiers? I'm going to go with purity here, so we've already done that. But respected by soldiers, I think, is the way to go. But he was sold into slavery. After decades of NCR imprisonment, Anderson was forgotten about. He was one of many undocumented prisoners in the NCR bureaucracy. Moved from prison to prison until eventually an enterprising warden told, sold him and other unmarked prisoners into, into slavery to Kemalt Station. We get a war goal against Kemalt and medical chem technology. Or the 80s, where we get a war goal against them. And three times bonus for vehicle technology. I'm going to have to go with three, because three 
usually is a bigger number than one. That's how I decide things here. And Anderson's escape. Whilst a slave, Anderson was kept from most of physical labor due to his knowledge of chemistry. Able to turn rudimentary scavenged items into poisons and bombs, he was deemed useful by his captors. Years later, when age started taking its toll on Anderson, they decided to bring him to New Reno, hoping the Mordinos would be interested in an old but chemically gifted slave. Much to the surprise, when the party near New, New Reno, he organized the other slaves into an uprising, which looks really good. He's inspiring. I like that. Inspiring is bueno. Or did he kill his captors in their sleep using a gas? Now, we all like being gassy, but inspiring and he's respected by his soldiers, that's a great, great combo. And it's not just because I want more manpower, but that seems like a really, really good combo, regardless we have purity. Even after all these setbacks, our vision for the future, or the return of the true humanity, has not yet wavered. In fact, most of the weak-minded and defeatist have already left our midst. We will purify the mutants from this world and reclaim our beloved homeland at any cost. We lose a little bit of non-core manpower, get more mobilization speed recovery rate, and we lose a little bit of stability. Enclave efficiency boosts your power armor cap, which is very nice, which is right here. Well, that's one of them. Power armor expertise, and we got that done. Protected by the Sierra Army Depot, very good. Huh, if that place falls, you have some time to reclaim it before the game is over. Enclave scientists, very good. I love the elite support, keep it up. And we need to remove political infighting, you know, as soon as possible, because we only get 0.75 political power a day. You know, we don't have a lot of luxuries here in the Enclave, but we do have coffee, and that is some good stuff. Next up, we could remember the rig, remember Navarro, but we could also do Enclave Radio. So we can get some political power early on, more decryption, radar stations, unlock Enclave radio broadcast decisions, as well as, and then take New Reno. Let's do this one first. So, we can rebuild the powerful radio be beacons of the Sierra Army Depot, which will allow us to broadcast our signal across the wasteland. This will be invaluable for organizing long-distance expeditions as well as reaching any remnants still loyal to the Enclave. Absolutely. And we have a war goal against the 80s forever. Now, I hope they do well. I hope they take out a lot of places, which means we will have to spend less political power trying to take them out. And take everyone else out around them. So, we have Legion down there causing a big old mess, which is fine with me. Absolutely fine. How much is it going to cost? That's not bad. We can spend some caps early on. It's only 10. Go ahead and spend them. That's fine with me. Military committee, that's good. We need to do military exercises because we need to get up to 80% purist to remove the reformers. Reformers must be taken out. Hmm. So-called desert rangers down south. Look like they're trying to take out a couple people, a couple tribes as well. We're going to go and grab that. Work is needed. We're going to grab that. And then we're going to grab this. And then we're going to grab that. Organization, agriculture, and all that good stuff. Currently, command power. I would love more command power, but we only have so much war support. 0.23 a day. That is really not anything. Cool. And we need to assign generals over here. Do this, because we will need a plan to go to war with New Reno. And you'll be led by Lieutenant Mary Orwich. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Mm, strong back, out of supply, power armor. You're using power armor, so I'm going to go and go with pain train. And you'll lead the auxiliary troops. Reformers, please. Shadow Jack Churchill. Now, he's good with robots, but we currently don't have any robots, and that's okay. That's okay for now. Eventually, we will. But we have Enclave Radio, but now it's time to take out New Reno. While with morale improving, it is time to look outwards and prepare the liberation of the mutant-occupied territories surrounding us, many of which are sitting on military equipment caches of indispensable value to our goals. We will begin with New Reno, our old hiding place. Yes. Taking them out should not be too bad. All you need to really do is get New Reno itself, so... As long as we can grab that, we'll be gold. Very, very gold. Look at that. Franklin Anderson. Respected and inspiring. Awesome. And we're barely mobilizing. That's okay. We literally recruit no one a month. Okay, maybe now we get one person a month. Actually, our elite or oligarchic influence goes up by 0 0.06 a day. That's pretty good. And take New Reno. Very nice. So we'll do that immediately. And then we could do this. We could remember the rig. We could use that war support immediately. Hmm. Sierra Armor Depot. That's good to remember the rig. It's good to remember stuff. Four decades ago, our base of operations was sabotaged. Many of our old guard lost comrades and family in an ensuing explosion. The act has gone unavenged in the decades since, but we have not forgotten. Never forget. And we don't have any vertebrates, so I cannot use them now. But I will be using, hopefully, them in this campaign. I do 
plan on doing that eventually. Alright, let's attack, do well, and have you kind of encircle the enemy, even though we'll probably beat him up maybe a little bit too quickly, perhaps. Try to get down here, cut them off the stables. Oh, we found an enemy right there, that's fine. Ah, another enemy. Cool. The Fallen Arena, we've heard stories, but this place is worse than any of them. And they should fall very soon. Ah, hold on, we'll grab Nixon first. Boom, cafeteria incident. A disturbing photograph has been circulating among cafeteria staff, involving one of the staff members intentionally handling ingredients inappropriately. Make a finding, make a show of the finding, and punish the man. We have more important matters to attend to. I'm going to go with more war support right now. And disloyalty. We are receiving reports of an enclave officer openly disputing our leadership, going as far as loudly claiming that the recent elections were fraudulent. Run up the officer and everyone involved with him. Uh, find the man and make an example out of him. We have more important matters to attend to. You know what? I'm going to do this because we get political power. I need more political power right now. We're going to grab that. And let's see. A rousing speech would not be bad. We could get some more of this, which wouldn't be bad. More army experience gain. That's pretty good stuff. Reformer. Oh, we want politically connected man here. So that makes it so much cheaper for us to get everything else that we really need and want. Cool. You guys, come to level lock. Make it down there regardless. Good. If they don't want to die, well, put them in their hole. Good. And they should capitulate. There you go. Easy peasy. And now we have a lawless wasteland. After the disaster on the oil rig, the wasteland remains populated by freaks and mutants, who pervert all that humanity holds dear. Given the few remaining humans who hold to the Enclave's cause, it is difficult to properly subjugate the monsters. We can set several occupation policies, including one to exploit resources, and another which will let us dismantle their so-called factories and relocate them to Sierra Army Depot via decision, and we want to learn how to do that. So, if our occupation policy is set to dismantle factories, we can transfer factories back to the Sierra Army Depot, of course. We will run out of facilities eventually, so we may be forced to pursue other alternatives. Note that as resistance increases, states will fall from our control and become part of the lawless wasteland, the natural state of the mutants. But how do we reclaim the lawless wasteland? If resistance rises to 25% and is state controlled by the Enclave, it will revert to lawless wasteland. While we can move through the lawless wasteland, we cannot exploit it yet. This may change as we recover pre-war robotic technology, though. And if we deploy garrison to the state, we can control it, but we need to make sure that we can hold onto it or we'll revert to a lawless wasteland. God, I hate mutants. Let us let time go on and continue doing our focuses. I will not go to war with the 80s anytime soon. Troll Warren? God, I hate mutants. They need to be, They need to perish from the lands. Remember the reg? Oh, a few more days. We'll get more war support, political power. That's pretty bad when you have more war support than stability, but regardless. Oh, we need to deal with the Van Graffs, too. We'll probably not make a deal with them. No, we're going to make a deal with them. I can't afford that stability and war support loss. No way. And how much political power do we get? Doesn't matter. Let's do it anyways. So hiding. Looks good. Remember the rig. Good. Now we can't do anything here. We could take Vault City eventually, but let's not do that. Mariposa Expedition. We get some political power. Opening up the vault. Reorganize the troops is good because we want to do robotic manufacturing, which allows us to transfer resources to on to the enclave so that'll be good if we need to do that extend the beacon i like that political power gain much more but we can't do that quite yet so uh we're gonna go this way sierra army depot the sierra army depot has remained relatively unlooted thanks to its automated defenses they should respond to our military access codes leaving us free to access the unspoiled lower levels of the depot to set up our new base of operations and we get more political power. Now, we could influence political infighting, but we got better things to do with our political power, to be frank with you. I'm actually going to save it up first. Yeah, we could get some army XP. We could, actually, before we do anything else. Occupy territories. Uh, militia has to do it. And we're going to go with... Uh, minus 100%. Mm, I really don't want it to become lawless waste on the last. Y yet. This is going to hurt our manpower a little bit. 3.17. Yeah, it's going to hurt us a little bit. But it's capped at 10% for now. If I should change this, let me know in the comments below. But anyways, unlicensed Muti Hunt. It appears one of our vertebrate assault teams is going out of the way to inflict collateral damage on mutants during their patrols, going as far as telling account on the vertebrate. While their actions could risk the operational security of the Enclave, punishing them may prove an unpopular move considering our current stance on mutants. Make an example out of them. 
<laughs> boys will be boys. Threaten court martial. This may happen again. Or, because we are inspiring, address the soldiers personally. This will not happen again. Jackals are annexed. Good. Good. Rifle territory. Good. Good. Very nice. So now, let's see. We probably still need to train... No, nope, we don't need to train any of them. We have a little bit of infantry equipment, which would be good. Troll Warren, Mutants, God. They need to be taken out. And then Power Armor is looking fairly okay. Looks like we're going to get paid soon. No, we got to hide. We still got to hide. Uh, so be it. So be it. And the Sierra Army Depot. Good. Let us go ahead and do Recovering the Archives, which looks pretty good for Gauss Weaponry. Excavating other things. Robots. Strip. Well... We, let us recover the archives. Much of our research was lost at Navarro, Poseidon, and our resulting exodus. Even our communication protocols had to be reestablished. So let us salvage what we can from the servers and archives of the Sierra Army Depot. Surely some of this information is suitable for our purposes. Now also, eventually there will come a time when we get robots and we can deploy them to help suppress enemy resistance. Which is very nice. Which would be very cool. And I'll do that once we get there. We're working good. Now, let's do that one as well. We are here. Let's go and grab... Me. That's a little bit ahead of time. Let's grab that one. And they don't tell you this yet, but you need to get to Scrapbot for this Focus Tree, which should be... Oh, down somewhere, which we'll get to a little bit later. So, encounter with the Crimson Caravan. One of our patrols stumbled upon an expedition of the Crimson Caravan. The leader, less trigger-happy than some, has reported back requesting orders on how to proceed. The caravan is not close enough to confirm that they are facing... Enclave power armor specifically, but rumors of suspicious patrols in the Nevada desert could reach the NCR nonetheless. Leave them be. No witnesses. We're going to go with no witnesses. Because we're going to get that stability right back immediately. Because we need stability. Now, during this focus tree, we will remove political infighting, so we'll get 20% more stability. And there's other focuses that will literally just give us stability overall, so we don't need to take reducing administrative shifts too many times. Maybe once, maybe twice, maybe twice at max. Klamath, that is a very early war for Klamath. Wow. Wow, they they must be the aggressors. Holy cow. That is unusual. Cool, let's go ahead and grab some of that. And we might grab close quarters training and riot gear, because riot gear is fun. Mm. I should get some riot gear. Oh man, that's a smart idea. Ah, why? Well, you could be ill during war, so this could be much, much worse. Come on, get us some more multi-purpose equipment. Very good. We're going to go ahead and grab... Well, this doesn't even matter. We don't have any factory output, so there's no point to even do that yet. If that's the case, go ahead and do that. We might as well use it. We'll use that later. And recovering the archives next up. Mariposa Expedition. We could use that political power. Could we? Yes, we could. So we might as well. Long ago, we controlled the Mariposa base and used slave labor to excavate the lowest levels, providing us with a near limitless supply of FEV produced there. By sending a team of researchers and soldiers to the Mariposa base, we can finally rediscover all of its secrets. We get political power and an expedition is mounted. Reduce research shifts. You know what? That's only 25 political power. I could really use more war support right now. Oh, should I do that? Should I not? Give me just one. We can let time go on first. Mm-hmm. 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 E-wing here looks really good. So, rumors of half-mutant. Rumors have begun spreading that a repeat respected administrator of ours is half-mutant. Like many of our younger personnel, he was born years after the fall of Navarro to a surviving enclave soldier and a mysteriously absent mother. If these allegations are true, he may be a serious risk to our security. No compromise, no mercy. They're just rumors. No compromise. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just, we can't, we can't risk that. Ooh, look at this. Colonel T. M. Wilkins, genocidal officer. Ah, thank God. There is some sense of s calm and common sense in the wasteland. The mutants have been subdued for now, the capture of the war. And, but rabid purist, this is the dude we need. Look at that. Marrow drinkers, good job. Pat on the back. You might become honorary Enclave members. <laughs> Combat language, very good. It looks like Clemson is actually pushing into a royal. Wow. That's a little unusual, but you know what? We'll work with it. Reduce research shifts. 
you know what give me the war support for now because we do want to increase our command power so we can use them so we can more quickly purify uh, the enclave and get rid of the reformers so it appears that the base is even in worse shape than when we left it something demolished the entire upper level of the new mariposa military base well not new mariposa but just old mariposa presumably using explosives luckily most of the base is underground and there are still alternative entrances with for those who have the right access codes let's go as our assault team pushes deeper into the bowels of the facility rattling and screaming echoes through the metal corridors it appears super mutants have survived in the depths god knows how Order the soldiers to capture them. We kill mutants on sight. Hmm. Now, this is important, because if you didn't know, this is going to affect a focus later on, which is down here. Slave labor. We'll get that immediately. We'll have some slave collars, but... Super mutant slaves. Is it better to let them live, where we lose a little bit of stability worth supporting required garrisons to get 20% construction speed? Is that good enough to let them live? Or we just kill them on sight? Well... You know how we treated that administrator? There can be no compromise. And now, with the first squad uh, of super mutants taken care of, our team approaches the target of this expedition. The glowing green vats of FEV are right where we left them, though many of the cases are damaged. The FEV in these vats contaminated, or are contaminated beyond belief, and they would not be suitable for our research. That's disappointing, though. But with more super mutants on their heels, our team must decide what to do with them quickly. One vial is all we need? Or bring whatever we can carry. They may come in handy. We can always get a little bit more manpower, maybe a little bit later. We're gonna do that one. Because you never know what we might need later on. Mm, political power. Let's go and grab that early on. That'll be good. So, for the Great War, our government worked closely with a corporation called Vault Tech. The underground bunkers they built may be our last hope of finding more unmutated humans. The locations of these vaults were lost to time, but we have reason to believe this information can be found at Vault Tech's headquarters. We can mount an expedition to retrieve it and any other valuables we find. Good, we create another one of these. Good. Good. Oh, wow, look at that. Umbra still around, huh? You know what? Umbra? Hmm. I wonder if we're going to join the Western Brotherhood or not. Because if they don't, that's kind of good with for us. Because we need Navarro. Later on in the focus tree, we are going to need this province so we can actually do a few... <clears throat> Fun things. Ah, military exercises. Good, good, good. Get a little bit more oligarchy. Just more army XP. It's worth it for the manpower. That's why I went with that 3,000 manpower early on, because it's incredibly helpful. Even though I really don't like it, it's incredibly helpful. And good god, we need more stability. Only 22%. Oh, terrible. Flexible designs. Very good. I'm going to get more research speed. We're going to need that for where, where we are going. Hold a small speech. We can just wait on this. It's fine. Actually, how much longer do we have for this? We have about a month. That's not bad. We're going to get 0.8 a day. Not great. So we're really going to focus on reducing administrative shifts. That's probably key here. And we're getting more war support, which is really nice. Ah, oh, good. Good. vault -Tech HQ. Open the vaults. We can do that a little later. Let's go ahead and, ahead and reprogram the robot defenses. So, the automated defenses of the Steer Armor Depot it kept, or, uh, is kept safe from looting for two centuries until the return of the rightful owners. Let us adjust the programming of the most operational machines to serve as a field division. We get two light robot divisions, which is very nice. Now, we could do that for more stability and hurt ourselves. How about we don't? Just give us more stability for now. Now, we could do this. Reorganize remnants. We can wait on that, though. Secret language. Good. Let's go and do that one next. And we shall do... I really want to get that guy... But, oh, da, 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 ba, I really like this guy, but that's not going to help us get any more political power for now. Under logistics. Cost is 80. Hmm, I love it. <sighs> Captain of Industry, that would not help us. Benjamin Curling, that's nice. Uh, what do we want to do? Daniel Shaky. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? That's really good. But right now, everything is capped at 10%, which is fine for now. For now. We could hold on to it. Oh, and I'm joined here with my Enclave cat, Binky, who is sneezing in the background. Let's go and grab you. Yes, that'll be good. That'll be very good. Oh, we need to focus on our land doctrine, too. Even though it's, it's good for what it is for now. Spec Ops, we don't believe in that. The only Spec Ops we need are power armor. More and more power armor. 
And good. Automation, good. Oh, that is early. I don't like that. I was actually planning to go into war with the NCR when they declare war on the Scorpions, but it looks like they are a little busy. Because if you time it right, and if the NCR doesn't do this focus early on, you can actually beat the NCR pretty easily if they're at war with the Scorpions. So. Well, unfortunately, that's not the case. Now, it might, I might still be able to do that if they declare one of the uh, Veiled Bandits, or the Veiled Banditos. But we'll see what happens. The Paz Bandits, too. So, Scorpions, please kill as many of the soldiers as you can. That'll help everyone out. But, of course, we're going to go down with Refined Warfare. Concentration of Force. Absolutely. Reference manuals, good. It's almost 2276. You might as well get that one next. And maybe a little bit more construction speed as well. Eventually, hopefully... You... Now, I don't know. As reformers, can we get the civilian power grids? I don't think we can. I could be wrong on that. I don't know. Open the vault, contact the armaments, re reorganize the troops. That's incredibly important. So, decades of separation and isolation has wrecked havoc on our military organization. Let us formalize our chain of command and combine the several separated bands under our leadership into a united enclave armed forces. Get a bonus to our land auction, and we change our uh, conscription law. And also boost our manpower cap. Good. And get the robots. Uh, I'm going to go and just put you under someone else. Yes, robotics expert. Good. Regular. Nice. Encounter with the Crimson Caravan. Uh, I thought we already had this. Well, no stability. No stability. Well, we don't. We need more stability. Oh, we're going to need more of this. Ooh. Hmm. I might... I should have enough in a few days. I should have enough. Hmm, dump the dirty FEV. Yeah, we're definitely going to, have to do that. We're, I never really knew where Maribel's Ranch is, but I've done that before. Not on this channel, though. Not on this channel. I'm glad I looked at this. we got to keep an eye on this. That's going to be a little close, but not that close. That'll be good. Happy 2276, my friends. It's a new year, and we are getting stronger as the Enclave. Boom, there you go. We have just enough. 38% stability, never enough. 68%. How much more is it going up by every day? 0 0.05, that's not bad. Reorganize the troops, good. Next up. We need to do this. We need 40% stability, which is quite a bit. But as we get down here, we'll get 20% more stability. So, let's excavate the lower levels. Our military codes give us access to parts of the depot that are almost entirely untouched. Let us open the old armory and maintenance sorts and salvage what we can from them. Vault City, what are you doing? You know, whenever I play as the Enclave, it, it seems like the brain takes power. Probably to combat us. Hmm. We might end up in a war against them eventually, which would be a little fun. Cool. Keep trying to build, even though you are not being very successful, and that's okay. We need robots, of course. We need power armor and more guns. Oh, wait. Yeah, Gauss rifles, right? Do we have? Ah, oh, we got those mass drivers. Good. Cows rifles. 80s, good one. Ruby Valley Refuge. Very nice. Kill each other off. Now, I'm going to save up my war support. We definitely need to come down here. Hmm. Undersigned divisions. Good. Good. Train. Ah, oh, no. Scorpions, you died already. Ah. Oh. <sighs> that is disappointing. Quite disappointing. Lower levels. That'll be good. Production of more resources, which is always good to have. Always good. Desert Rangers looking pretty large. 80s are trying to beat up these guys. These guys are beating up those guys. The White Legs took out Area 51. Huh. Okay. Klamath is slowly... Well, they got pushed back. Well, that's interesting. Excavating the lower levels. Good. Let, oh, we could do Protector of Humanity. That will get more stability immediately. I like that one. Uh, 40 days... Let's get some more stability now. We're the last true humans in America, perhaps anywhere else in the world. We carry on our shoulders the legacy of a thousand civilizations. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's see. 200 caps. We definitely need more caps. How much do we get a quarter? 41. We still won't have enough for the next time, which is fine. Got some smoke signals. I don't know if the Enclave would really use smoke signals. Well, I guess they would. I guess you still could use them, but... hmm. Get the scrap lot done early on. That's good. Tierra de los uh, Anything else? A uh, hang dogs are dying. At least, hopefully, the legion will do well. 
be very aggressive towards the NCR. Ah, scrap bots. I'll show you probably the focus that we need that requires that at least. And let's grab this. Oh, that cost. That cost, uh, army XP. Hmm. 12 and a half. We gotta improve those guys too. Good. Come on, get us that stuff and train if you need to. Good. Command power is looking awesome. Better exercise, we lose 10. We'll get 25 army XP, that's nice. And we're there. Lose just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of manpower. Just a tiny bit. What is that? Extend administrative shifts? We lose stability. That is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. Why would you even want that? Ah, protectors of humanity. Good. We can remember Navarro. That could help out too. But let us reorganize the engineers. That would be good so we can get down to here and then here. So, our engineers have been hard at work repairing worn power armor and weaponry, but their work is ad hoc and inefficient. We can reorganize them into the same manner as the military to make sure their expertise is used to its full, full potential. Now I'm going to wait. I'm going to go ahead and just hide activities from the NCR again. Just make it as quick as possible. Just do it. Get rid of our current political power. That'd be nice. So we don't have to worry about that at all. Go ahead. Now we're up to 25, and I'm going to do reduce administrative shifts one more time because that's going to be very, very important. Purists. Oh, you bet we're purists. We, you bet you're a sweet bippy we're purists. Political power, three, uh, manpower, I mean. And good. Plant cultivation. Construction speed is good to get. Come on. Enclave, enclave, enclave. And then we'll also be able to bribe NCR officials next as well. That'd be good. What is the NCR up to? I hope there's an NCR Brotherhood War. There goes Umbra. Experimental armor. Tech reallocation. The Xi have not decided to kill anyone yet under Yang Jin. Okay. We can only get over one political power a day. That is so nice. So nice. Research-wise, we will be getting more uh, research slots as time goes on through our focus read. And we're almost done with concentration of force. Oh, and we can reorganize the engineers. I'm going to go and get extend the beacons first. Just so we can get some more daily political power, because I think that's extremely, extremely important. So, with our engineers in proper order, we can begin extending the range and power of our radio beacons. Good. We can grab that. And we're pretty much going to end the episode here, sort of. Let me know in the comments. What do you think is better? Flexibility of movement? Or flexibility of command? Let me know in the comments below as we research this next thing. And, before we finish, let me know. We need an army group name for our first army hero. What should that name be? Let me know in the comments below. But if you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't joined my Discord server already. And I will catch you all tomorrow as we will continue to make the Enclave stronger and begin to, of course, rebuild America. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.